watch this video. I'm sorry it's been a little bit of a while, but welcome to your 2018 year ahead forecast and overview astrologically and general guidance. I really felt this strong need to reconnect with you because it's been such an intense year and I just wanted to get, you know, just, just get a feeling of what sort of year you've had this year. So write me a comment underneath the, the video and just connect, just reconnect, let me know you're out there, say hi, um, let me know how the video resonates for you. I appreciate and love all of those communications with you and um, and also let's look ahead to 2018 which is going to be another powerful year. I feel very very strongly um, guided to say that this, all these shifts and changes that are happening as we know are pulling us onto the right path, they're pulling us into our power, they're taking us out of situations or ways of seeing things that are disempowering, they are moving us into a very very strong position where we can begin to share our light, express our truth and be divine channels and if that doesn't resonate for you and you've just come for a regular reading then you know just bear in mind that everyone is experiencing a shift at their own level of understanding and for you it might be that you you've changed at home or you've changed your changed your job or you relationships around you are changing family circumstances are changing things are just suddenly up in the air and transforming in a dramatic way and um, and you're wondering why why things are changing and maybe you've come here because you're looking for answers maybe things just seem very smooth for you but you're finding that people around you are having awakenings or their lives are changing or things are, uh, seem quite dramatic anyway this video is for anyone who has come looking for guidance for the year ahead in the context of all of these shifts and changes that are happening to all of us. So I hope you enjoy the readings. I've been asked to focus on three main areas by my guides when it comes to the astrology. The place that Saturn is leaving um, in the chart, the place that Saturn is moving into, and where Jupiter supports, uh, you know, the, the place of good fortune. So where Jupiter is going to be. So in some area for all of us, there will have been a maturing, there will have been a growing up, and that will have prepared the way for us to move into a, a deeper understanding of the next phase of our lives. And that's what we're just about to move into now. And we want to also look at where we are going to be most fortunate in taking that learning on board and really flourishing and blossoming and growing our lives in 2018. So those are the three aspects we're going to be looking at, um, the three movements, the three elements that we're going to be looking at. And then I'm going to pull some cards, some of my favourite decks I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my insight as well. And um, I also want to let you know my year ahead readings are available on my website. I'll leave a link under the channel. I might be doing some exciting and interesting things on Facebook. Facebook live as well soon long promised and I'll leave a link under the video as well and that's it I would encourage you to check your ascendant as well because I'm going to be looking at things very much on a house by house basis so it's going to be very important for you to be working from you know your ascendant as well as from your sun sign so I think that's everything have a fantastic year and if you're watching this before the year is over, I hope you're having a great Christmas or whatever you celebrate at this time of year. I hope you're having a great one of those. Have a fantastic holiday season and have a nice break, hopefully. And yeah, wishing you all the very best for the coming year ahead. Come back to this video and watch it as often as you like. And um, yeah, as I say, keep the uh, dialogue going. Let's comment, you know, share um, ideas and... and um, feelings about the times that we're going through and how we're shifting and how we're changing and evolving and what you actually currently believe about where we're moving to. Do you still believe that um, peace is possible? Do you still believe in utopia? Do you still believe that your life is moving in a positive direction? And is there anything that I can help you with? Okay, so yeah, that's quite a lot for now. Enjoy, take care, peace, and I'll speak to some of you soon.
Okay, hello my lovely Virgos and welcome to your 2018 year ahead video and I hope you've had a great 2017. I know it's been filled with its ups and downs, its challenges, but also I know that it has been filled with opportunity for you and opportunities to grow and that's all to the good because the direction we're moving in is absolutely amazing. So I hope that by now you're beginning to see signs of that having come through a time where you have become very, very, very self-aware. So in the last few years, you've had Saturn moving out, uh, uh, moving through your fourth house. So you've, the area that you've had to grow up in has been very much about home. It's been trying to come to terms with uh, home, your emotional foundation, your emotional security, childhood wounds, the past, anything in the past, anything that's been formative. Formative and foundational. So you've kind of had to rebuild yourself in a way. And you've had to learn a lot about how to make things work for you on an emotional level. You've also had to do a lot of growing up about possibly to do with settling down, getting yourself settled and being okay with that. Um, and it may have had its challenges along the way. Now you've come to a degree of understanding about what you need in order to feel safe and you've allowed yourself to let go of a lot of the past, looking back and to take responsibility for your life, for yourself, for your being and to, to step into a sense of what does it take for me to feel emotionally safe? You have a much greater awareness of that. You have much more peace within yourself now and you're ready to take everything that you've learned about yourself and about your emotional foundation and even your home to take all of that learning into the future where you are about to create your personal creative legacy of joy and contribution. Okay? So, that personal creative legacy of joy and contribution that can be anything it can be um you know it can be a work, great work of art a series of great works of art it can be that you're about to have children start a family it can be that you're about to go traveling because that's what you love doing it can, whatever it is it's something monumental that you've been meant to do your whole life because it's what's in your heart truly in your heart that allows all aspects of your consciousness and your being to be sparked in this one creation. So whatever it is Virgo, I wish you all the very best with it because you know you've really had to hone your craft, the craft of yourself, of being yourself, of, of with all your sensitivity. You've had to learn how to take deep care of yourself and it has been partly so that you can be prepared to focus now on your creative contribution to the world, on offering your gift, on being ready, whether it's being ready to knowing that you're ready now to be a parent or ready now to make your first, you know, I, I don't know, do your first exhibition or make your first album or write your first book or put your books out there or whatever it is uh, I don't know um, create your start your school of dance or I don't know whatever it is for you you're ready the time is now Saturn is going to be supporting you in doing that over the next few years but it's not going to be pie in the sky anymore it's going to be Saturn telling you the steps walking you through it growing you up as a creative being and showing you you need to put this this and this in place you need to do this this and this this is the way we go slowly up the mountain this is how we make it last forever this is how we make it work for you because saturn's going into capricorn and it likes to do things properly and do it being in its own sign it can do things properly and it can help you as an earth line as an earth sign to do to do things properly Okay, I hope that makes sense. It likes structure. 
Okay, Saturn likes structure and Capricorn is all about structure, structuring things, having the long view in mind, having a real tangible concrete plan and making it happen, seeing it through, following through. Okay, so this is just perfect and for creative people, for artists, it's just wonderful because we can be quite, um, not flighty, but you know, it helps to have something that will pin you down. Contrary to how it may seem, you know, Saturn, fifth house, oh, you know, what a contradiction. It's the opposite. It will ground your creativity into something real and help you to manifest it onto the physical plane in a way that creates lasting benefits and results for you. Not just on a creative and emotional level of joy and satisfaction, but in terms of tangible results for your life and your makeup and your emotional security. So everything that you've learnt in the last few years has prepared you for this. Now you get the reward. Okay, well done. Okay, so now Jupiter has been in your second house over the past year. So you've had a lot of glimpses of what it's going to take for you to establish um, a better foundation for yourself financially, economically, in terms of self-worth, self-trust, self-esteem. And for some Virgos, there will have been an increase in what you've asked for. Um, there will have been an increase in finances. There will have been more financial opportunities coming up. But there's been a clue in what you've said yes to and what you've said no to, which has also been an important part of this learning process that you've been going through because now you know not just what you deserve but how you want to receive it okay through what means you want to receive it who you are what you will accept and you know what you're giving in return so I hope that all makes sense because you're ready for a big breakthrough when it comes to your finances if you haven't had it in the last year because for some people often say that's when you get money when you've got uh, Jupiter in your second house but for some it won't be that it will be when you prepare the way it will be when you learn your value when you learn what you're worth and sometimes along the way that will have been by having had it tested so it's not that clear cut but the rewards are coming now because it, it's only going to change because you change it, you know. These elements and aspects and, and movements and transits, they're only to guide us to tell us what our potential is. And your potential has been to upgrade, to increase your value, to increase what you receive. And that can happen very much on the inside for a very long time before you see the results. And for some, that will have been the case. So now, now we see. <laughs> okay, so, Virgo. I'm going to pick a couple of colour cards because mostly it's been the insight and the astrology for you so far. And I want to get some cards in there. So I'm just going to see what sort of energy is going to be running through your year. Attract a relationship, okay. Build your confidence and take action. I love that. Oh, what a great combination. All right, so for some of you, some okay, some will already be in relationships and it could be that what you will be doing now is enriching those relationships because now you really know what you want. And if that isn't the case, so let me just elaborate on that. So if you're in a relationship that works for you, that you feel really good about, it could be that it's quite new and that you've cut because for a lot of Virgos there's been a lot of big changes in relationships recently and you will have either found that the relationships you were in had to transform they had to transform because you were changing so much and you weren't going to take this old stuff that you usually take or you've you've attracted a different kind of relationship one that will support your growth one that will support you this new confident self that you've developed um, and one that will not stop you from taking the action, the actions or restrict you in any way. One that won't make you feel unable to take the actions that you need to take in order to fulfil your destiny, your mission, to bring your gifts to the world. So let's push those up there a bit where you can see them. I'm not sure. Bear with me with these camera angles. Okay, so... Okay, attract a relationship, build your confidence and take action. So with regard to your creative mission, this could also be 
a relationship or a partnership that is a creative partnership that also supports you in, you know, that you work together, that you can collaborate, that you both bring something good to the table, that you're able to, um, you know, have a synergy that makes things better, that makes things, you know, much better than they would be for either person if they were working individually. That is also a possibility. Um, the important thing for you is, I'm looking at this deep red rose and I feel that it's going to be really important that whatever you attract, if you're for the single Virgos, whatever you attract now, it's got to be a relationship that, that gives you the deepest, deepest love, that brings you that deepest sense of really being able to receive now in a relationship because you've done all that work on yourself on raising your value on being allowed allowing yourself to receive that you must just by the nature of, of who you've become you must attract a much better quality of relationship and for some that is absolutely what's going to be happening in 2018 and if you're already in a relationship the relationship that you're in will have to transform to become that kind of relationship or it's possible that you'll be attracting something else or that there will be some other kind of change. Um, because you're going to be building your confidence throughout the year. Your confidence is going to be building and growing throughout the year as a result of your encounters um, connect, connected with your gifts that you offer to the world, um, the, the reception, the reaction that you receive, um, your ability to do what you do better and better and better because you're committing to it more and more all of that is growing your confidence is just going to be increasing almost daily throughout 2018 enough of the you know school of hard knocks enough of the learning process this is really going to be about paving the way for your future the life that you came here to live the future you came to create for yourself and for the planet and you are going to be seeing results of that you're going to be seeing the reality of that throughout the year and you're going to be hearing it in the feedback that you'll get and you're going to be knowing it and feeling it rather than just sensing it and and, and being aware of it and and suspecting that it's the case you are going to see yourself as someone who is capable of creating great change in your life and in the world um, in a really positive and beautiful way and you're going to be taking action there's no doubt about it there's no doubt that you are going to be making things happen and that this is going to be supported by the universe and you're also it's also going to be very much supported by the fact that you have jupiter in the third house so your focus if you're going to ask if you were going to ask where do i need to expand what's going to support all this new um, creativity and this new venture and this new remember you're going to be building this creative foundation for the next few years um, it could be something you'll be doing for the rest of your life but this growth this real meaningful tangible powerful growth is going to be happening for a few years because Saturn stays around for two and a half to three years and um, you're going to be feeling that support through that whole time that's coming and one of the powerful ways that you can really capitalize on it over this year with Jupiter in your third house is social media, um, small trips in your local community, um, connecting with siblings, cousins um, and changing and tweaking the way that you communicate with people and reach out to people generally. So your social media could grow, the way that you use social media could grow, the way that you reach out to people could grow, you know, building a mailing list and um, whether that's the physical or online or whatever, all of these things could change, could, could grow, could transform, could develop hugely if you put just more effort into them. So that's what will support you. Have a fantastic year, Virgo. I'm feeling as if I've gone on for too long, but I hope that helps you. It's going to be an incredible few years and it's going to be a great 2018 if you take all of this and, and capitalise on it and make it happen for yourself. 
Don't let anything stop you. Everything is conspiring to support you now in moving ahead. So have a great time with it. If you'd like to have a private reading with me, um, to go into more depth, more detail, maybe about relationships or, or whatever, because everyone's situation is going to be different. I'm doing my personal year aheads now. There's a link under the video to those, and that will be just uniquely um, about your situation, connecting with your own energy, asking your guides, my guides, and maybe looking at some cards as well, but just as a way to guide you through 2018 and to answer any questions you have. So come back to me if you'd like that. And uh, otherwise, take care and have a great 2018.